Hey everyone, today I've got my November favourites video for you. Um, I'm sorry if the lighting's a bit weird, it keeps going alright and I'm a bit blue and stuff, but we can deal with it. Um, I haven't got a load of favourites for you this month because um, I was just like looking through our products and stuff and I haven't been like loving a load of things in particular at the minute, just a few here, but um, I didn't want to just lie and just like grab a load of things and just talk about them for a sake of it, so I've literally just, just bought the thing, brought the things with us that I've really like been loving this month, so yeah, these are the things I've been reaching for the most. You're probably sick of hearing about this one, but I'm going to mention it as well, and it's the Naked 2 palette from Urban Decay. I think this was my last, last month's favourites as well, but I've kind of been doing something a little bit more different with it recently. I used to use eyeliner, like pencil eyeliner or liquid eyeliner. I still use them occasionally, but almost like every day recently, I've just been using dark, really dark eyeshadow and using that on a thin brush, like this one. Like this, like the flat brush, as you can see, I've been using it. And I just use them in the really dark colours to just like line the edges of my eyes, like underneath and across the lash line, like at the top. And the colours I've been using for that have been these two, and so it's a little bit the brown, but I always like mix the brown with the black or this one with the black and just like go between the two and um, just to top them up a bit. And I find that really works really well. Um, yeah, I just find it looks a lot softer and a lot more smoky and smudgy and a bit more natural, I suppose, than like a thick black line or like black gel liner um yeah so i've been really loving that for that um and it's really handy that's actually got the black in and stuff so i can do the rest of my eyeshadow and then just use these ones for the eyeliner at the end so yeah i've been loving it for that sticking with eyes another thing i've been loving recently is my mac paint pot and i've got a limited edition one called vintage selection but i think it's very much like bear study it's just this shimmery champagne color as you can see it's got quite a dint in it but i've actually had this nearly two years now and um, it hasn't started drying out much really, like it hasn't cracked from the edges yet. So I think I've done pretty well to keep it sealed. Especially in winter, I love this because I find it's quite a light colour so it's really nice. It complements pale skin I suppose. And yeah, it's a lovely champagne colour and it just puts this lovely sheen across the eyelids. And it's just really pretty for like days when you don't want too much going on. And loads of dark colours so yeah, I think that's a really nice one for simple days. Um, this is the last product for eyes and it's the Avon Supershot Max Mascara. I've used Avon Supershot Mascaras millions of times, like I've had about five different tubes of the Max one and about six different tubes of the original one. Um, I can't really tell much difference between the two to be honest but yeah this one's the one, the only difference really I think is that this one has a kind of twirly wand as you can see. A kind of, you know what I mean, like a spiral. Um, this mascara is just amazing, I'll go back with it time and time again. This and the Bolshev Volumizer are my two favourites and I will go back to the two time and time again because they're so volumising and just really really nice and really good everyday mascara and it can be built up really nicely. It doesn't clump together too much at all and yeah I just absolutely love it and I've went back to it so many times that I can't even count so that shows just how much I love this. The next product is a foundation that I haven't actually mentioned for a while and I used to talk about non-stop because it used to be my favourite and it still is my favourite which is why it's in today's video. Um, it's the Gemma Kid like it's a little foundation. Um, sadly, Gemma Kid products have been discontinued. So when I found out that news, um, I think I kind of stopped using it like instinctively to kind of like keep it and not use it all up because it's my favourite foundation. Um, I've got a whole other bottle as well as this one, like a full bottle, so I shouldn't really be too bothered, but yeah, I'll have to find a new favourite foundation after that. But this one is just amazing. It gives the most flawless coverage. Um, while, as it says, like I say, while feeling really light on the skin, it just, just looks so nice, like really natural, but not too matte, not cakey at all, just goes on really nicely, it doesn't look streaky or anything, it's just really, really nice. Um, can't say enough good things about it, I can't really say anything bad about it at all, it lasts really well, and I just, I'm really going to miss it when I've run out of the two tubes I've got, and I really hope it comes back, because I don't know what I'll do without it. Last but not least, I've got two tannin products, and I haven't, haven't been into like tannin majorly, as you can probably tell, but like, not like really dark false tan, I've just been trying to keep up a bit of a winter glow, and I haven't today, as you can see, the light makes it look really pale, but um, recently these are what I've been using, and I've been using the Clarins Liquid Bronze Self Tanner for your face, um, I've, I've just shoot this up, it's probably about down to here now. Um, but this is really nice, it goes on like a white cream 
you just put it on your face with a cotton wool pad and it just soaks in and then it develops and you have a really nice glow it's not like a proper tan like it's not like a scary orange tan like you, i wouldn't be scared putting this on it's just really nice glow and just brightens your skin up a bit and makes it a bit more alive and the next and the other product i've been using on my body is the garnier summer body moisturizer and um, this is just basically like a gradual tanner like a moisturizing tanner it does smell quite strong like it smells like fruit but you can still smell the tan like it smells like apricots but you can still smell the tan as well like my boyfriend hates the smell of this but it just gives like a really nice light tan like it's nothing too obviously orange for middle winter but yeah i just want like my skin to just have that take the edge off the pale so yeah these two products have been doing that for me recently and i've really enjoyed using them and that's all i've got for my favorites video like i said i didn't want to sit here and just talk about a load of things that I've kind of been liking like I just want to talk about a few things that I've really been using a lot so yeah that's about it and that's watching everyone I'll see you in my next video bye